Koi Coco Golf wins, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! I'm going to need all Coco fans and supporters to like this video. Drop a heart. Show some love. She's had a very tough road here, guys. But I'm telling you, the changing of the tides. How long have I been saying this, guys? I've been telling you. I told you, look, my pick was Coco to win the U.S. Open. I gave you that pick. She has just two more matches, and she will do it. Now, listen, if Serana Kirstea beats Mukova, I think Coco's going to destroy Kirstea. You're going to see her age show. I mean, that that's going to be no match for Coco, especially how she's playing now. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, they hug at the net. Yes, they're good friends. Yelena Asapenko's a sweetheart. And remember, she's a Grand Slam champion. She won the French Open six years ago. Coco, yes, she did it. Keep going, Coco. Yelena Asapenko takes the loser's walk, but she's not a loser. She's a very skilled player, very powerful she just beat Iga. You, you see how much pressure she puts on opponents. Coco said in the post-match interview, even trying to serve it out, she was a bit nervous because she knows how strong Asapenko is. That's right, guys. You could tell she was a bit no, uh, nervous there trying to serve the match out. But listen, once Coco gets one Grand Slam under her belt, you're going to see a different Coco. She's going to be a lot more aggressive. She's going to be a lot more relaxed mentally. Now, she was asked in the post-match interview, what's changed with her coaching? She said, nothing's really changed. It hasn't been that long. We haven't had enough time to change much. She's just mentally relaxed out there. That's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. Coco won nearly 80% of Elena Asapenko's first and second serves in the first set. Perfect on break points, three for three. And listen, guys, Elena Asapenko only won five points in the first set. That's how good Coco's defense is. Three for three on break points, perfect. She won 100% of all the net points. Now, Coco said in the post-match interview, her defense has always been good. She said she's just tweaking her offense a little bit, becoming better offensively. And listen, offensively, she's always she always used to be patient. That's what I saw in her game. Her defense, always solid. And she said, look, she has a saying, and it's more of a basketball saying. She said, if you stop someone, then you can win. Well, listen, I have a saying, a basketball saying as well. On offense, if you can score, you can win. But on defense, if you can stop someone, you'll never lose. And Look, Coco's defense today was superb. You saw her literally run down every fastball that Yelena Asapenko threw at her. She chased them down, returned them, and Yelena Asapenko, she made her step up, hit wide and long, all match long. Now, in the second set, more unforced errors for Yelena Asapenko. 15 to 2 in the first set and 21 to 12. She finished this match with 36 unforced errors. Coco really put the pressure on her and played amazing. Next up, if it's Mukova, same result, guys, as we saw in Cincinnati. She'll beat Mukova any day of the week. Mukova's playing style, it's a little too slow when it comes to Coco. Going to the top spin, leaving Coco too many balls to put away. If it's Serana Kirstea, I think she'll she'll show the age of Kirstea. I mean, the athletic the athletic ability, it's going to be too much for Serana, guys. That I, that would be a very lopsided match. So if you want to see a good match, hope that Mukova wins. Coco Golf wins the first American to make a semifinal here, the U.S. Open, since Serena Williams did it a couple years ago, guys. Coco is relaxed. Her team, listen, I thought very simple game plan. I said it in the, the, the post, the pre-match video. Very simple strategy. Very simple. Execute it very well. There's no way Coco's going to lose this match. She signs balls. Coco's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. She heads to the semifinals. Guaranteed another $775,000. That's a lot of money. But hey, she's already rich. We'll be back, guys.